What's up YouTube? This is JP Panther back with another video and today's video is another Star Wars news update box office video and again I'm gonna link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. So what we're gonna talk about right now is this just popped up like really like four or five hours ago but you know now I'm here so I can talk about it. So it says uh, on comicbook.com right Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker looks to be a box office flop in China, which um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not that surprised because China just ain't rocking with it. It's a communist country. You know what I mean? You pretty much have Democrats and Republicans, Siths and Jedi killing each other, you know, and uh, for political views and positions of power and stuff like that. They're not going to understand all that. So again, we're going to read about it, stuff like that. And it says, okay, Variety reports that by 8 p.m. local time, the Rise of Skywalker had only earned $2.2 million at the box office. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't even think it was that bad. Standing in fourth place behind three Chinese movies, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and it says, um, in New Zealand, okay, blah, blah, some of those BS. Uh, according to the ticket agency, uh, the Rise of Skywalker is on track to earn a me messy $18 million during its China run. That is crazy. That means, China, listen, that means Disney, you ain't getting China to rock with Star Wars anytime soon. That's what it is. And it just talks about back in January, The Force Awakens earned like 52 million opening uh, weekend, then 126 during across its thing. Uh, Rogue One opened at 30 million. Um, overall, uh, total was 60, 69 million. Last Jedi made uh, open at 28 million, and uh, opening uh, like the whole entire run was 42 million. Um, it talks about the stars and blah blah blah, and it just pretty much says that you know China just really. You know, and it talks about the audience score, Rotten Tomatoes, and um, to China and stuff like that. Again, you guys can check it out when I link the article in the description. But here's the thing, right? In my personal opinion, I personally, um, I'm not surprised that it's not doing well in China. Like, I don't know why people are, like, acting all shocked. But the problem is that you got to realize is that, you know, people say, oh, it's going to be a bomb. It's going to be this. And China, people kind of already prepared for that. But I think the thing is uh, with Star Wars, it's more of an American franchise. And again, you gotta take in consideration other markets and stuff like that. Like I know Japan's like a big market, United Kingdom is one, Brazil. It's gonna make most of its money in America. So I do believe that it's not gonna flop. I do think that Disney is, no matter how hard, even if they do Old Republic, no matter how hard they try to push Star Wars into China, because China's that big, big, it has like 1.4 billion people. And I, and I, you know, I did videos about them giving free books and, you know, trying to translate it and stuff like that and trying to really get the Chinese audience into the Star Wars, but they're just not rocking with it. You feel me? It's just certain franchises that overseas audience ain't rocking with in China. The problem with Disney, they need that China money, and, you know, China just isn't going to bail it out. And the thing is, they said this is going to be doing worse than Solo, because Solo only did, like, I forgot, I think it only did, like, I think it was only in the theaters in China for, like, three days, and it was automatically pulled out. This might be out in, like, really, really quick. That means it's going to be, like, Snap. So, like, a Thanos Snap. So in my personal opinion, uh, China's not going to do well. And again, it's still early. And these are just pre, you know, well, that was, you know, the the day, whatever it is for, um, I think it was like Thursday night and all that stuff, whatever. And um, I, I don't think it's going to, I don't think Rise Skywalker is going to flop because it appeals to more of Americans than it does overseas like that. Star Wars has always been an, a domestic franchise more than an international franchise, where Marvel is more of a worldwide franchise. I mean, America rocks with it, obviously, but, like, overseas and worldwide, like, everybody likes superheroes and stuff like that. They're not into Jedi and Sith like that. It's really... Um, you know what I mean? Like, just the concept of, you know, uh, overcoming fear and hatred and stuff like that. Like, it just doesn't resonate with overseas audience like that. And also, it's a lot of dialogue. It's not a lot of action. It's more dialogue than um, action. So, you know, that's another thing that doesn't appeal to overseas audience like that. And uh, Rise of Skywalker is going to make money. Um, and again, we still got to continue the box office. Again, I'm going to continue uh, checking out the box office probably, like, each and every day. To make sure that I get it right in my personal way, I'm gonna see if um, more up to date uh, box office news and stuff like that. I'm gonna see if it makes uh, if it makes less or does le it makes more or makes less. And um, 
it's not going to be a flop. I think it's going to hit a billion dollars because if you look at the audience score and the critics score, the critics ain't liking it, but the audience are liking it. Really means the Star Wars fans, they hate it, but the the general public, the normies, the popcorn movie fans, they like all that. So special effects and all that. So it's not really, uh, uh, you know, the normies are going to save uh, and the feminists and all that will save the box office over uh, China. That's really it, guys. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys are surprised that it's bombing in China? Are you guys, like, shocked? Are you guys not shocked? Let me know in the comment section below. Rate, like, sorry, rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.